Over the past several weeks, there has been an extensive debate, both in America and in Israel, regarding the Taylor Force Act. This congressional legislation, introduced and co-authored by Senator Roy Blunt and Senator Lindsey Graham, states that so long as the Palestinian Authority continues to pay salaries to terrorists, U.S. foreign assistance to the Palestinian Authority will be frozen. This bill comes in response to the perverse fact that Palestinian terrorists who murder Jews are paid millions of dollars each year by the Palestinian Authority. Having served for four and a half years as Israel's ambassador to the United States, I am very much aware that it is unusual for Israeli officials to comment on pending U.S. legislation. However, in light of the Palestinian Authority's outrageous pay for slay law and the increase in Palestinian terror attacks, I believe it is necessary not only to comment on the Taylor Force Act, but to support it in every way by all means possible. There are political, legal, and moral implications for passing this bill. The Taylor Force Act is bipartisan and covers an issue which unites members of both parties in the United States Congress. While its authors are both Republicans, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin signed on as an official co-sponsor. Vocal support has also come from other Senate Democrats, including Ben Cardin, Bob Menendez, and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, who recently said, if the President is unable to get Palestinians to seize these payments, Congress is going to act. The wide support across the aisle for this bill disproves all the false accusations from the left that this is a partisan legislation. Others claim that the political outcome of this legislation would be the collapse of the Palestinian Authority, which would leave Israel in charge of several million Palestinians and create chaos. This notion couldn't be more wrong. Much of the monies are being used for funding terrorism rather than for nation building and welfare systems. Additionally, the legislation clearly states that the assistance would continue to the Palestinian security forces so that they may maintain cooperation with the Israeli agencies to ensure stability for the Palestinian Authority and security for Israel. It is illegal in the United States a criminal act to fund terrorist activities. Money is given to the Palestinian Authority while they fund terrorist activities make the United States an accomplice. The perception that the U.S. tax dollars are used for humanitarian aid is wrong, as the money is fungible and diverted to terrorism. This opens the potential for lawsuits against the United States government by the victims and their families. The Taylor Force Act is in accordance with U.S. law and would ensure the U.S. taxpayer dollars are used appropriately and responsibly. Supporting terrorism, even indirectly, undermines the moral authority of the United States as the leader of the free world in its fight against terrorism. It weakens U.S. demands of nations such as Iran, Qatar, and Syria that support terror. The Palestinian Authority's pay for slay law, which has caused the murder of many American citizens, among them Ezra Schwartz, Naftali Frankel, Richard Lakin, and Taylor Force, is the antithesis of the values of a nation that is built on the democratic principles and the belief in the sanctity of life. Just as the United States wouldn't aid a government that pays salaries to ISIS, Al-Qaeda, or the Taliban, it shouldn't aid a government that pays terrorists to kill innocent people. In his speech last week in the Kufai summit, Ambassador Ron Dermer clearly stated the Israeli government's support for the Taylor Force Act. The White House also stands behind it. Now it is the time for all Americans to unite and fight for the passage of this legislation. It is long overdue.